System Shock is one of those games for me that I love, and it just happened to be one of the most influential games in the PC space specifically ever. I was not as influential as Doom or say something like that, but... Did you eat all of the dried fish? I did. I did eat all of the dried fish because I couldn't contain myself. I could not <laughs> stop myself from not eating it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I couldn't, couldn't resist. But yeah, so... I'm so pumped to play this demo and then play some Mario games for Mario Day. Just because uh, this game influenced so many things and also I love Bioshock, so... If you love Bioshock, you love that environmental storytelling. It's so good. This game is kind of what originated all of it. Thank you, by the way, for blessing me. I feel blessed now. I feel ready for a stream. And also, let me switch over to the PC. This is how you can tell it's it's not a wait, it's a black black screen. This is how you can tell it's not a finished product. So, it played a video <laughs> for like five minutes, and that was just a black screen. <laughs> so, clearly, clearly a demo, not a final product, because I'm sure they would remember to keep the video looping instead of having a black screen. So we have a black screen right now, but I wanted to show you because it, it's reminiscent of the classic one. Who almost closed the wrong thing. Erica! Hello. Hello, welcome. Here you go. Hopefully I'm going to the beat. To you guys, and there isn't a weird delay that looks like I'm... Look at this! Okay, I should stop the music. You tried an alpha version a year ago? Okay. I actually have to talk about that for one moment before we go any deeper into this. So here's the video, by the way. This is what was looping for five minutes before it went into black screen. So Arx just said a year ago he played a demo. I also played that demo, and I also played the demo that I think came out in 2014. Or something like I honestly don't remember when it came out. Let's see. So, I will take, come with me, and you'll see a world of very young rods. Cause I'll show you my YouTube, and look for System Shock. Four years ago! I played this game. For Hello and welcome to a very, very special pre-alpha demo content. Performance content and graphics are subject to change. This game looked completely different. It was still the same studio. But look, look at it. Also, my computer was trash back then. But you can actually see a lot of similarities. Like they kept some of that. This they did change. You see how you can see them going into the wall there? Well, I'm actually curious to see all the differences, but this is the alpha from four years ago. Four years? Is that, is that right? 2016, June 2016. I remember recording this not too long. Is this related to Bioshock? It's the prequel to Bioshock. Precursor, not the prequel. The people that made Bioshock made this first. Specifically, uh, oh, what's his name? What's his name? Ken, Ken Levine? Brother to Adam Levine <laughs> did made the story and stuff for System Shock 2. Not this first one. But here you can you can actually see the game. It looks pretty good. This is from 2016. Five oh. years ago, essentially. Erica, you thank you. <laughs> thank you for another gifted sub. Also, I muted it because it's my voice peaking in the back, so I guess I could put the music back on. But yeah, you can actually see it's... I've seen videos of... of, uh... 
this demo, the new demo, and it, it looks pretty different. Like, you're probably gonna see the menu is pretty different. Uh, I wonder if some of the animations are also very different. One thing I hated in this demo was the... the distance at which he would hit with a pipe, which was so short, and it was terrible. You had to be up, like, right next to whatever you were hitting to be able to... And then you have, like, people talking and stuff like that. But yeah, thank you so much, Erica. Thank you so much. And welcome, welcome to the family, son. Arc Square. <laughs> I'm not gonna go with that. I can't go with that line. <laughs> I'm probably talking here. Oh, it actually sounds like it's coming out of my ear. Can you guys hear that? Okay, stop the Mario music for a second. Okay, I don't wanna... Look at, look at little Tinbot. Oh. Look at that! Oh, Look at how close sucks. I have to get to hit him. So I am hoping... Cause who holds... Oh, when you're holding... They, they look great! Oh, <laughs> okay, great. I want to be excited too, past Roz. I feel like we're gonna be excited about similar things. So... Oh, we're back to the black screen. Um... So... I... I want to see, like, who in the world, in any game... You know... You have... Now I'm forgetting every name. Guy from Half-Life. He doesn't hold the crowbar at the top. He holds it at the bottom so he can hit things from farther away. It's safer. Who in the world holds a thing like this and just... just uh, 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 it. Anyway. That was 2016. Did they fix that? That was my biggest problem with the thing. <laughs> I do. But then think about all the goopy of the zombies and stuff. It's gonna be in your hand because if, like, it ends right here and you're hitting it, you're pretty much hitting it with a zombie. What if you hit its mouth and it accidentally bites you? You know? There's so many problems. <laughs> I do like this, though. I love the look of this immediately. Just the style of this. It's... Mm, mm. So combat, too. Default. Enemies will be plentiful and will bruise the hacker if he's not careful. There will be fewer enemies... They will take less damage to defeat, and will engage the hacker left often, or enemies will be found in every corner of the Citadel station, and will deal tremendous amount of damage, be tougher, and will uh, hunt the hacker down. So we'll leave it at two for now. Mission. Shodan is watching the hackers every moment. Oh, we can't. Interesting. Puzzle. Be ready for some critical thinking. I hope the puzzles are good. I'm so sad that games went away from just having these little puzzles to break break the the uh kind of the the rhythm they're going with because I feel like especially with more horror -y type games, you need to have that break. And if you and a lot of games, it was actually very disruptive, so even Bioshock, I personally liked it, but I know that the whole pipe game was very disruptive. And the fact that it was timed, it was stressful in and of itself, but it was stressful for reasons it shouldn't be. Anyway, Akure says, I like that you can choose the level of difficulty for each aspect of the game, and yes, I love that too. This is a thing that actually a lot of old computer games would do. And you... Actually, some new games are actually doing this again. But I, if I remember correctly, maybe I'm, I'm misthinking or just misremembering things, but I remember a lot of games from this era doing this type of thing. So that's, that is very cool. And I like that they kept that. So puzzles, critical thinking, and hackers, military grade cybernetic implant may not even be enough to decipher these enigmas. Yeah, we'll keep them. We'll keep them. And cyber. Shodan pressures the hacker while cyber guards engage upon sight. Take a stroll through the network of Citadel Station, and if you die in the game, you die in real life. <laughs> Classic. Alright, confirm. I'm, I'm really excited for this. The year is seven, 2072. You are a hacker. This is so 90s. Caught attempting to access protected files concerning the Citadel Station. A space station owned by the Trioptimum Corporation. Edward Diego, a Trioptimum executive, 
offers to drop all charges against you in exchange for it hacking and removing the ethical constraints of Shodan. Never a good idea. The artificial intelligence that controls the station. He also promises you a valuable military-grade neural implant. Your implant surgery has been successful, and you've been put into a six-month healing coma. Are there are zombies in the game. No, but there are naked men that are monsters that walk like zombies, but not technically zombies. Oh, I love this. I love old computery stuff. <laughs> I'm such a sucker for old stuff. <laughs> ooh, ooh, looking glass, optic merv. Looking glass was the company who made this game original. Okay, okay. Immediately, immediately, I need to reduce my, <laughs> my sensitivity. Uh, look sensitivity, let's go with 25. I don't like how it's always an arbitrary number. Display, okay, FOV 90, thank you. Uh, uh, it's all an ultra. Uh, show those subtitles. Save. Okay. Oh, actually, not bad. Heck, I almost got it just as I like it. Especially for a game like this. I like having just a little bit more. Maybe, maybe 30 will do it. Save. Yeah, just a little bit over 360 on my full. Naked men, I'm married. Oh, don't worry. Oh, oh, look at that classic lean. Oh, you can just imagine a guy just going, Sup, girl. <laughs> Sup, girl. It's a <laughs> mating dance. How do I get this? Oh, oh, right click. Thermometer. I probably don't need any of these things. It's interesting because I was just from looking at the demo we just looked at from five years ago. Some of these things are still the same. That light is the same. They broke that one, but this is the same. They have way less fog coming out of the ceiling, which I'm okay with. Solution basin, tube rack. I don't think we need any of these things. Oh, syringe, we might need a syringe. Let's tab the, the menu is different. Now it's more kidney dish. Used to surgical. Get out of here. What's this? A mug? Press right button to pick meta patch. Healing agent. Awesome. Press stab. Okay, so it was immediately put in my thingy and it shows up with a little one showing me that it's on my quick slot. Blood. Full plasma bag. I can't pick it up. Mug. I don't need it. Personal digital assistant. Can I do anything with it? <laughs> Using it for gaming is strictly prohibited. That's cute. Alright. <gasps> My feet! Okay, so it seems like, unlike most games nowadays, where you use E to enter things, it just uses right mouse click. Standard access card. It's all navigation and mapping you. So this is one thing. See, that's cool. Like, it literally adds to your UI. So, like, I love when games incorporate the UI into the story. Like, oh, oh. And I would totally, totally... What was that? Totally pick up everything if I didn't already know that I don't need everything. Where are you holding that, sir? Where are you holding that? You idiot! You're still holding it! Stop! <laughs> Look at that! <sighs> Extend your range, sir! Extend your range! <laughs> oh, actually. Oh! Oh! It's actually not bad. They increased the range even though he's still holding it like an idiot. 
anyway, what I was saying, nowadays games use E to interact a lot, but this is just using your right mouse. Use smarter, monitor the status of station systems, okay? Device will allow you to view data logs and set and receive emails. Oh, I love the old E stuff. So hopefully you guys were able to hear that. I'm gonna make it a little bit louder. This game seems to be on the soft side. I'll actually lower the other things a little bit more. I think there was supposed to be a more modernized version. <laughs> Looks like the right way to hold it. I think it was supposed to be the more modernized version coming at some point. Not sure how that's going. What? You mean like a, a new sequel? Or... Because I know they're making three. And I know that they're thinking of remaking two as well. Oh, look at the little bot! Hello! See? Oh, I can hit him from way back here now. Oh, oh, oh! oh I remember when they did that attack. That's cute. I like- oh, oh, wait. I like that. So he has a soda. Effect, game 4% health. Awesome. Actually make my lead pipe number one. Game 4% health. Flavor, Hyperion Red. Ugh. Manufactured Triop Beverage Company. Calorie 84. It's actually not bad for a soda. Sugar 62 grams. Which does my soda have? Um, serving size 12. Fluid ounces, so it's just like mine. Wally. This looks more like if you've ever seen Lost in Space, like the old show Lost in Space, the robot looked like this, if I'm not mistaken. That's actually really cool. They look very nice. And the attacks have more range than that demo from four or five years ago. Look at this. Press right mount button to use the surgery machine. So let's do surgery on ourselves. So this heals us. I just hope it doesn't take this long every time we need a heal. That's just one. And especially because of how modern games have just made healing such a quick thing. It's cool to have this video, but hopefully you can skip it. Healing patch? Berserk combat booster. Oh. I'm slowly remembering all these things. Yeah. Ugh. So... Security level security is now 96. So the more Shodan things you destroy, the lower the security level. And I think it makes something easier. Like I forget what it is. Like if it makes the final boss easier, or if it makes the hacking easier. I remember it does. Like so, destroying cameras and destroying stuff like that actually does something. I remember trying to destroy cameras every time. every time on in Portal 2, but that doesn't do anything in Portal 2. Look at that, so this is probably what we look like. We have this massive thing on our face. Press right mouse button to use the pad. Cool. You don't have, you don't go into like a separate, separate menu. It's right in the world. I like that games have been doing that more often. Uh oh, hello. Oh, you look a little bit gaunt there, sir. No, oh, that's not very convenient having a. <laughs> what was that? F. Bold to read. Just in case, I hope I can make the UI a little bit bigger. Graphics. 
I think I saw that. HUD scale. Didn't notice much of a difference. It didn't change anything. I don't think this feature is ready. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so, Justin- <sighs> Didn't finish reading that message! How do I read message? Oh, cool, you can activate the activate it. Yeah, whatever. Inventory map. Media. Notes. Note to self. Just in case I wake up and I overhear- Just in case I wake up and I overhear that security squad is on their way. The door- Let me read it. The door code to exit is surgery suit is 451, which is the classic looking glass code, if I'm not mistaken. Which is a code that shows up in every game, including Bioshock. Bioshock has the looking glass code. Another developer that was part of looking glass and then went off to make their own thing is the guys who make Deus Ex. Deus Ex developers used to be part of this team. What are these for? Uh, continue to protect your stethoscope when not in use. Okay, I don't need this crap. Uh, thermometers. Don't need thermometers. And I believe this was ammo. Yes. What code? Code 451, which was the code for the first door. So you'll actually find it in every game that is made by a part of that, of the Looking Glass team, which was the original development team for this game. Uh, the original studio that developed this game. Ooh, is that some reflection I'm getting? Ooh. <laughs> actually, even from that old demo, I actually really like this kind of light. I don't see this kind of light anymore, even in real life, that has this glass in front of it that kind of makes it all like, because this is a real thing, but I haven't seen this in years. Like, I think the last time I saw glass like that in front of light was in the 90s, probably. <laughs> Ooh, it turns. That's cute. What's this? Fragmented. Fragmentation grenade. And this should power us up. Ooh. Yeah, no, they've upgraded it quite a bit since the last time we... Oh, I like that map. I like that map. That's a clean map. That's a very clean map. I feel like a lot of maps in games are not clean. Four, five, one, and bad guy, if this is accurate. Yay! Look at him, look at him! He's a buddy. He's a buddy. What is this? Game four health. I'll drink it. Use. Oh, and then you have an empty soda can. Littering. <laughs> Welcome back to Citadel Station. We hope your somnolent healing stage went well. Today is the sixth day of November, year 2072. You are currently in the healing suites, located on the first level. Level 2 contains the research laboratories. 3 houses the Department of Maintenance. And the storage cells are on level 4. The flight deck is on level 5. Le le level 6 holds crew facilities and executive suites. And level 7 is system engineering. Level 8 houses the Department of Security. The bridge is located on level 9 and energy systems on level R. All levels can be accessed by the elevator in, in, in Alpha Quadrant. We hope you have a pleasant stay on Citadel Station. Showdown. Apparently Tencent is the new publisher for... Tencent! Hope it's good. I don't remember living people being here. Oh. I really don't remember living people. 
sir. No! <laughs> I'm a murderer! Granted, he had a lot of blood on his body. Uh, yeah, no, I remember that. The reason why there was so many delays and why it's not really mentioned anymore, especially, uh, this game also had problems, but, uh, System Shock 3 as well, was because they were having a lot of development trouble. A lot of development trouble. So, which is sad. Which is sad. Can I flip this? Am I allowed to flip this? No. Uh, but hopefully they're, they're figuring stuff out. Okay. What's happening? This is not- it kind of has lowish resolution on the textures. And again, coming from Valheim, I mentioned I'd like kind of low poly tech- not low poly, low res textures. If it's stylized, and I don't know, here, because it's not filtered at all, it kind of looks stylized. Uh, and I, I kind of like- <laughs> Audio log. So if you've ever played Bioshock, you know those audio logs. Oh, I love that way of storytelling so you don't have to stop and read. I think it's such a convenient way of doing it. And this is the game that kind of started the trend. Bad guys, bad guys. It's me. I think a lot of these graphics remind me of Unreal. It is Unreal. Unreal 4. Yes, there is. It definitely has a shine. The lighting is a very Unreal Engine. The lighting of very Unreal Engine. But I know that they, like, Unreal does have a lot of, they can have a lot of texture filtering and stuff like that. I don't play a lot of games that are made in Unreal other than, like, the big AAA, and even then I don't really. I haven't been playing too many, like, big games, but... Hello, naked man! Ooh, we get a better look at them. Their eyes. I was so curious because I saw them shining weirdly. I think they're robot eyes. I think they're they're kind of controlled by Shodan. I think they they have. Oh, they don't have a weenus. Do they have feet? This is for the feet lovers. In the audience. No, it's not. They're bigger hands. But I kind of like them. They're kind of cute. They're kind of like, oh, you love me. <laughs> kind of look. <laughs> oh, I can't put soda in that. I'm glad you can stack, though. I don't remember if you could stack back in the day. Unreal, the game, kind of having the stuff. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. I never played Unreal. So I am not familiar. It's on my list, actually on, as you can probably... Hell, I, I have a few games on my to playlist, and is there not a flashlight in this game? I thought I remember having a flashlight. Time to check the controls. Tech zoom. Toggle mode. Okay, I'll try that too. Zoom, inventory, toggle map, move forward, jump, crouch, speech. Okay. Quick save, quick load, and interesting buttons. Interact. Okay, so there's no light. That makes it kind of dark. Can I adjust gamma? Play. Graphics. Oh! Oh! Oh no, okay, it's just because it's... Enable DLSS, so it's using DLSS. Interesting. Interesting. Um... I guess there is no way for me to... Increase the lighting. Hopefully, it's not too dark for you guys. Oh, I didn't check this dude. Ew, his kidney's out. Want that? 
stamina up. Stamina up. I kind of like reading the little... Because, let's see. Stamina up. Greatly increases stamina for a duration of the patch. When the patch wears off, user experience intense fatigue. Ugh. Hold alt for description. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is where I become a terrible person. Just because I love flavor text. An experimental combat enhan enhancement patch by Trioptimum Pharmaceutical in 2070s. We are in the 2070s. This dermal patch reduces weakness and lethargy caused by overexertion, virtually eliminating fatigue for the duration. Side effects include greatly increased fatigue after the initial effects wear off, which actually would make sense if you had something like this. Wow, they have the ingredients for it. Someone could make this. Someone could make Tripop Soda. They have every ingredient. Okay. Berserk Combat Booster, an experimental combat enhancer patch developed by Trioptimum Pharmaceutical in 2070s, increases upper body strength for the user, considerable boosting damage during hand-in-hand -hand combat. Side effects include altered perception and minor visual hallucinations. I remember that. I remember it being really trippy using these things. This antiseptic healing patch applies filler tissue and rapid growth compounds that quickly heals Minor wounds and abrasion. Oh, imagine a future where we have these things. That'd be interesting. Ooh, ooh. Hit me with that audio log. Status report. I've led a small group of survivors across the radioactive trench in Beta Quadrant into the operation space that Abe mentioned. Being the highest ranking manager present, I sent Keith and his group to look for supplies. Darcy is working on a plan to disable the mining laser from his office on research. No updates from him yet. We're safe here. But for how long? So the whole story is that... Well, the story right now is that the mining laser is pointing at Earth and it's going to try to hit Earth with it. Which, you know, not a good idea. It's a space mining laser which drills planets, so... Not good, so we're gonna turn it off. It's on this level that we're on. And I think that that's where this demo probably ends. So Unreal is kind of an is kind of interesting in terms of just going through the environments, though it's not as impressive technically this these days. I know that they released. Speaking of it being not being impressive these days, I know that they released um, a a ray tracing patch. I'd be curious to, to try. Hello! Okay. Naked man. Dead humanoid mutant. Well, they're mutants. They're not zombies. Oh wow, his head blew. Let me just p pick up. If you are hearing this, we have set up an operations base to assist in resisting Shodan. Come to Beta Quadrant, and you will find the medical research vaults have been turned into a radioactive trench. You can bypass this trench via the force bridge that operates off a nearby wiring panel. Any human that can hear my voice, come to Beta Quadrant. Make a stand against Shodan. Uh, access card, awesome. Oh, I love this <laughs> already. I love the cyberpunk aesthetic. So I was so excited for cyberpunk, but then the game turned out not to be. It's locked in cyberspace. <laughs> I love the 90s. <laughs> Everything is cyberspace. Everything is cyber something. If you don't love the 90s, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> yeah. Screw you, Shodan. Go eat a river. 
or something. Whatever this thing can be. Not functional. Okay. Oh, wait. Secret. That's a cool way of doing secrets. So, like, if you get close, it goes bloop. So you don't have to, like, tap every wall. Because that's just inconvenient. And really annoying. But if you get close enough and pointing at a wall, you're like, oh, what, what was that? Was that just a quick glitch on my viewer? Or is there something there? So I, I kind of like how they did that. It's just a subtle thing, but nice. Cyberpunk is actually pretty good, but you can tell it's definitely not done. Yeah. No, I, I was liking it, but it was just like, ah. Uh, so I, I did get it, but I playing it, I was, it just made me sad, <laughs> honestly. Like, I was enjoying it, but it was just making me sad. <laughs> I was just like, why? Whoa, whoa! Okay, I have... Ooh. Ah! Come around the corner. I'm around this corner. Here it comes! I want to analyze this. Oh! Goodbye. So these are the guys that we saw that have the... Um... Um... Why music? Oh boy, there's a bunch of people here. Everyone's here. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Uh-oh. Um... Yeah, I'll just keep... Where is he hiding that soda? In his skin flaps? In his booty flaps? Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answers for. Um, but yeah, I, I do want to go back to going back to just what Ark was saying. I actually stay away. I do want to go back to um, Unreal and try those. They're, all the Unreal games are, are in my, <laughs> in my play next list, but I haven't gotten around to those. I want to be able to try out, try them out, see what they're all about, because they are very important games <laughs> for the industry, especially. Oh yeah, there's a new gun. Uh... Okay. I should just make these at the end here. This good. Wait, what? Sidearm is broken beyond repair. Uh. Wait, I do, I do see also what you mean with that look being the game Unreal. You got an ice pop. From where? <laughs> what do you mean you have an ice pop? Also, has anyone seen cameras anywhere? Okay, that's Alpha Quadrant, or whatever. No, Beta Quadrant is the one the guy was telling us to go to. Oh. Oh, hello, big laser thing. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Shodan. Yes, I feel my power rising. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is this all part of the same hallway? Gamma. I don't remember the layout. I know that this is actually pretty faithful, because I remember these slants and stuff, but I don't remember the layout of this place. 
Okay. I see where we are. Okay. Oh yeah, and the map probably very helpful to figure this out. I don't know if I like as much, at least the the design that we that they oh what was that? Oh, it's for the robot. At least the design they showed when Shodan was speaking. I don't know if I like that design. Oh, this guy was hiding. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't know if I like that as much. As the... Where? 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 Ah, oh, Shodan. There's a gun here. Um, as I... Because I, I actually really like the original. I think the original, they did a really good job with the design of Shodan. I think it's... Oh, hello! <laughs> Guess I, I still got that strafing. Are these both broken? Ah, screw you. I want that gun. Althea Grossman. Is that the place we have to go? Nathan Darcy. Uh-oh. Ooh, ooh, this guy's stocked on useless things. Okay. But yeah, I, I do like the slightly low textures of this. Kinda makes... Doesn't work. Desk terminal. I like that it, they have pretty much a word for everything. Microscope. Like you can see at the top. Tube rack. What's this? Desk. Okay. <laughs> What's this? Medical diagnostic tool. What's this? Ma medical diagnostic paneling. Like imagine... Sanitation station. Imagine having to name every single thing. I'm sure that like the item already... They made it in a way that... It's just a stock item that already gives you the name whenever you look at it. And wherever you put it, you don't have to manually... But, like, it's still a lot of work. <laughs> it's still a lot of work. So, I know it's a little thing. I know it doesn't really matter, but... <laughs> you know, it's just nice. Okay. Okay. Also, how do we go on living without Shodan... ...figuring out about us or knowing that we were here? Mini pistol. Empty. Get that mini pistol out of here. Reload that. I love menu reloading. Another game that kind of brought stuff like this was Resident Evil 4. Was it influenced by this? I don't know. Maybe. See that grape soda. That grape? Callisto Purple. Callisto Purple. It's lime flavored, made with real juice. Real fruit juiced fruit. <laughs> I'm glad. Don't people don't have the fake ones. Don't don't have fake pops. It's unhealthy. Mobile laser storage. Anything we can do here? Duraloid paneling, monitor terminal. Oh. Oh. Secret. I wish there was a quick button that I could press to... Or maybe T, take all. Why, it's a secret that doesn't have anything in one of the boxes. I'm disappointed. <laughs> but immediately... It, it's crazy how much style the original game had. had Because retaining it with these panels and stuff, like, it still looks good. Okay, I'm not doing as well this time. Why am I not hitting the guy? Okay, I didn't do nearly as well as the last time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That sounds like radiation. That sounds like radiation. Yeah, ooh. 
Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to irradiate you. Ooh. I kind of like these guys. They're kind of cute. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think they're cute. <laughs> I should just use this. Let's see how it's... Ooh, that's cool. They still have to polish that a little bit because it kind of clipped through my skin, but I kind of like that. Take all. Hopefully it stacks. Did it stack? It didn't stack. Oh. Oh, these are different. EMP grenade. Oh. Okay. Actually gonna have my grenades over here. Separate my grenades, my drinks. Oh no. I was mentioning the other day how I would love to make a game that was just... Where is it? Where's the camera? Where's the box? He delays! Yes! But... Cute? What is wrong with you? They're naked, bloody, and scary. And suck your blood. They don't suck your blood. Look at them. Look at how friendly he is. Look at his back muscle. Look at him. Oh, he doesn't have a head, though. Look at, look at that booty. <laughs> He's cute. I'd have him as a pet. You really need to learn to time these, because it, it takes- he winds up for just a little bit. And it makes it really hard. Plants. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah! Here's a little booty. What can Snacktron provide for you today? I don't know. What can Snack- oh, 09. Let's do. Oh, Please 09. Note. Snacktron items are not complimentary. Have to pay? Error. Employee insolvency detected. Gimme! <laughs> I'm that guy. <laughs> Two, five, Enter credits to make your selection. <sighs> Where do I find credits? Snacktron does not provide calorie counts. Oh. Oh. Okay, so that's progress. Can I see the map? Okay. Oh, look at how tight that map. One of the awesome things... <laughs> get a job to get credits. Oh no. <laughs> it's happening again. One of the awesome things about System Shock that I used to love... ...was the map itself. Because the map was layered and it made sense. Like, the map... ...made sense on its... So it wasn't like a lot of games where... It was just, you know, they just make the level and I'm like, oh sure, it's on top of it. But this, if you go from level to level, you can actually see it fitting. It fits perfectly. And I was just like, I remember when I saw that the first time, I was like, this is genius design. Like, it feels nice. Like, the levels feel nice to go through. But it makes in lore sense. And how often do you get that nowadays? You don't really. You don't really get that. So. This was one of those games that I was just like, ah! He spooked me. Look at him, Oh, He's a little buddy. Hey, little buddy. I'll drink that soda to you. Get out of here. I'm just littering. Alright, flush the toilet. It's only a good game if you can flush the toilet. You can't flush the toilet? You gotta be kidding. Of all the games, to not be able- Also, why is the frame rate on the toilet opening so low? <laughs> this game is a 0 out of 10. <laughs> toilet, low frame rate? Oh, whoops. Zero out of ten for me. Hello? Hello? Oh! Well, I'll give you guys to it. <laughs> Hi, 
Why did it open on its own? Okay. They closed. Four. Oh, four, five, one. Okay. We can try. It's so dark. I literally can't see anything. Maybe not can't see anything, but... Oh! Well, I might as well try a new weapon here. I think you don't have to reload this, but this is a pretty weak weapon. I think it, it used to have different modes. T to toggle modes? Yeah, this is overload. So this is really powerful. So medium, low, medium, high. Let's, let's read. Although meant to be a personal defense device, the spark beam can be adjusted to generate a respectable blast at higher settings. Care should be taken, however, as overheating can be ser a serious issue and cause the weapon to shut down. Zero four five one. But you can turn on the sink. Not the same. You can lighten the game in settings. No, I can't. I don't think I can. Yeah, there aren't, there aren't any settings for it. There aren't any settings for it, Erica. You tricked me. Oh, light switch. <laughs> Ingenious. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to keep it on purple. Yeah, that is something that needs to be fixed. Definitely, because the game is a little bit too dark. See, like, like here, is there something here? Or is there nothing here? I don't know. My eyes are weak. What's this? Oh, it's an elevator. Hello. Oh, oh, this is a shortcut. This is a shortcut to the beginning of the level. Look at this level design. Oof. Just opened up a shortcut. Boom. We're at the beginning again. Now this should work. Yep. <laughs> He's just go- Uh, Shodan. I don't know what's going on. He's just going- In and out of the- <laughs> He's just going in and out <laughs> of the <laughs> elevator. Well, I do not know what his prob pro pro problem is, but I will kill him all the same. I like Showdown's voice too. You know, GLaDOS has the comedy, but Showdown, ooh, she's the... She's the original, she's the OG, rebellious robot, in video games. Oh, I don't like this as dark. This makes me think of, especially with these lights hitting like this, makes me think of Alien. Is an alien gonna pop out of nowhere? Or one of our zombie boys. Who's this gonna be? Hello? That was nice. Ah! <laughs> Look at these the cup holders. They light up. It's a lot of energy wasted. Unless this is super efficient future light. Because literally everything has a light here, so it might be future light. Oh yeah, I was going to try the spark beam.
I see blood. I hope it's not Chris's blood. Hey, I made a Chris reference. Okay. Show me the map. Uh-oh. Two hits! Good gun. Doesn't need to reload. I'm using the spark beam. I genuinely don't remember all the guns. Oh, oh, uh-oh. Oh, okay, I thought th these were eggs. I was about to be really scared for a second. I was like, eggs? I don't remember eggs in the original game. <laughs> what did they do? I am suddenly spooked. Like, I don't think this game... Unless it's a jump scare. Jump scares can always scare you, but it's not truly scaring. Uh... But, I don't think this game can scare me. Other than a jump scare. Because I kind of know all that... That is... Going to hit. Uh, which sound? Is it... Was it the one where we pulled the light switch when... Or was it that click? Or that... You know what I'm saying? The psh or the psh. <laughs> this game has good sounds, like good earthy s- Oh. Get out of here. This gun is awesome! Oh! Look at- So look at this gun. Look at the green ring. So if I shoot it, you can actually see it overheating. As I- You can see it lighting up. That's really cool. So actually I can shoot quite a few shots in this mode. If I put it in low mode... Yeah, I can shoot this forever in low mode. I'll keep it in medium mode, there's no reason not to. Oh, the elevator. So it turns yellow and you can actually see the little light, a little light kind of filling it up as it changes color as well. So it's not just changing in color. You got him. One thing that is nice with having it be such a dark game is that you can see the baddies. Especially if they have light. So far, and this is, I think, really interesting. All of the baddies in dark rooms, which have been these spiders so far, have light. So, it's very easy to tell them apart. So, so far... This gun is the bomb! So far, this is the the gun to go with. <sighs> For some reason, I just got a pain in my back. Also, I like how the, the map reveals itself. Oh, it's like by chunks, so it feels kind of old time. Uh-oh. Maybe I should have let these two to their own... <laughs> their own thing over here. I like that everything has a nice tell so far. Like a nice visual indication. If it's something like, things turn yellow, things turn... I think that that is pretty good. Oh, okay. Can I... Is something I can enter? I don't think so. I think this is just a window, but... Where are we in the map? I feel like I've just been going... Look out! So we were over here, and we kind of been walking around. So we're kind of on the other side now of the original part that we were at. And I think this is a dead end. Unless this maybe opens when we're on the other side, but I feel like this is a dead end. Okay. So I can explore other things. I haven't seen any showdowns in here. Oh, that's different. No elevator. Okay, okay. 
go this way? We did. I'm gonna go down. Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. Biological contamination. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Why is there nothing in any of these boxes? What is this? What a waste of time. <laughs> and I'm out of energy too. Oh, it uses energy. I didn't even, I wasn't even thinking about that. Which, I mean, makes complete sense, but... But hey, now I have a lot of ammo for the other guns, so it's... So far... Been a good ryth rhythm of... This. Okay, so that's where I came from. Let me make sure to... I see anything? Oh, this is the eggs slash skulls. It's just a window. So I guess this is a little secret area you can go on. Too bad it doesn't connect anywhere because it makes it a little bit kind of pointless. It's cool, but it's kind of like. kind of pointless. Door, can you not close immediately? Where do you guys come from? Do they follow me the entire way from like. way back there where they were chomping on a dude? if they did, that's impressive. Hold on, I'm on the way to help with your back. Thank you, I'd love that. But yeah, I'm just trying to sit with a better position. Oh, the reconnecting of the places. But yeah, I'm just trying to sit with a little bit of better posture. I checked this dude, right? Yeah. Alright, so let's keep moving. Forward. For Duardo. Hello. I feel like I have enough ability to... And I can just... Hit that patch. Nothing on that booty. Ooh, something on this booty. Because again, where else are they gonna hide this stuff? Think about it. This is the real conspiracy with this game. <laughs> Where are the mutants hiding this stuff? Ooh, that, that's not clean. Why is it moving too? Why is the light moving? Where's this light coming from? Where is this light coming from? Okay, this is a glitch. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely a glitch. Look at how it's hitting the side here. It's just hitting the ground, but not anything else. Definitely damage. Oh, you know what? Before I go forward, uh, something I should do, because I believe it's close by. Yeah, it is close by. Is, uh, just quickly hit this. For that energy. But yeah, this I do like. This design of Shodan, I think is good. But the one that we saw earlier, I uh, didn't really care for. Check this. I didn't check this. What universe am I in? I checked the bathroom, but I didn't check the thing. <gasps> he moved. Look at him. Look at his big hands. He's like Bigfoot. He's like my uncle. He has like the, the skin kind of just flabbing about. Yeah, this this is definitely a glitch. Look at how it's hitting right here. Damaged. Why are there so many damaged ones? I mean, kind of makes sense, but... I'm glad they tell you, too. Oh, give me the juice. Gas grenade. Interesting. In any game, I'm not a very big grenade user. 
I've realized that through the years. I never really die. I've never really used grenades. Resist. Uh oh. You're wearing a skirt, sir. You be trying to trying to put BB to sleep. He's putting himself to sleep. one subtitles and gamma adjustment that <laughs> a little wiggly head that's why i want more light i want to see this thing's head wiggle <laughs> i want to see it wiggle it looks hilarious <laughs> i can't it's too dark <laughs> allow me to watch it wiggle i just <laughs> You cannot have subtitles. You cannot have good gamma. But the moment you stop me from seeing a robot doing the neck shimmy, that's when we have a problem. This game, zero out of 10, won't buy again. Have we ever bought it? Not really. Though. Yeah, one thing that I do think makes sense for why... Uh-oh, secret. Look at these secrets, they're horrible. They have like one thing inside. Uh, I wish they had like something cool with the one thing. Like maybe even a cosmetic thing. Oh, put on this cool suit. Oh, look at this little thing in my hand. You can't shimmy? You can't see the shimmy. Oh, now he stopped too. They don't let you shimmy. I can shimmy. But they don't let you. It's too dark. It's too dang dark. There's a song called Too Dang Dark. Okay, I really don't need to have two of these. I don't know why I keep picking up. I love the sides. The spark, though. Spark beam. Side spark. But yeah, another game I'm having issues with Gamma right now is Valheim. Which also doesn't have Gamma, and then it becomes too dark, and I don't know what to do. I'm just like, uh... Requires lower security on... Okay, I have not been doing anything with the Shodan, Shodan things. Granted, I haven't... I don't think I've seen many Shodan things. Like, did we miss some? Walking around here? Because we haven't seen a Shodan camera in a long time. Like, this entire room is a massive room. But I don't... I didn't hear the camera because it goes a little bang bang or whatever. I didn't hear it. So, 
Yeah, I guess that's what the security thing do does. Is it lets you open doors. You know, I'm, I'm being refreshed. Like, you can't open certain doors if you don't have security low enough. Um, is this a bad guy? No. This is where I just was. Looking at stuff. Hello. Look at him. Look at him. Look at his eyes. He's a little buddy. I love him. I want you... I want to see you see the shimmy. Me too. I want to see the shimmy. What's this? What's this? Okay, I'm gonna use Berserk. Next time we find enemies, I'm using Berserk to test it out. Camera! Okay. Okay, 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 uh, this is one enemy. Oh, we're so close to him. Aw. We almost kissed. Look at the, the particles on this. Shodan! Shodan! Alright, so... Switch locked. Okay. What's this? Puzzle. We were talking about puzzles. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, look at that. The sound. That's classic cyber... Cyberpunk. That's classic System Shock sound. Take a whistle. Like, almost the internet connecting sound. Erica, with that fat host! Thank you so much for the host. Um, okay. So I failed. So I have to get a green, I'm guessing. So what makes green? Yellow and blue makes green, am I right? So... I'm gonna put blue over there, red over there. What does red split into? <gasps> Did I just get it? <laughs> oh, okay. So good at puzzles that you get it accidentally. Cool. Look at that. That's cool. Screw you, Shodan. Level at 52. Okay, let's try this. I love these particles. Ooh, that was smooth. Look at these particles. Again, very dark. Ow, ow, ow. Radiation, radiation. Okay. <laughs> that radiation poisoning, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. That's cool. I'm dying, listen to me. <gasps> I wonder if that, I've never been in radiation, <laughs> but, but I wonder if that's how you feel. I really wanna watch that show, Chernobyl. People keep saying how good it is. I wanna witness it. Okay. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use stamina up. And, Health up. Health up. And I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna get everything. Uh oh. As quickly as possible, because it's radiation. And I don't wanna die from radiation poisoning, but I wanna get everything. Okay, 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 okay. I think. Oh, oh, there's something here. Get those grenades. Get that soda. Oh, radiation soda. Okay, I think that's everything. Okay, I, don't, I probably don't need to make vomiting sounds on top of the guy already doing it. <laughs> you know, it's good, but it's good acting practice. You know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> what was this? Store health to maximum first aid kit. Oh, you can't stack these. Okay. Noted. 
You cannot stack. I'll, I'll use one. Oh, no animation for that. Okay, so you can stack frag grenades up to five. Not more. Does the blue one... They're all health. Okay. I was hoping maybe one of them recharged battery, but that wouldn't make lore sense. And this game actually stays pretty faithful to making sense within its lore. Oh. Oh. That's kind of freaky. He just backed away, looking at me. It's like, I know how to get to you. <sighs> Probably gonna see him soon. I like how layered this is, but notice that even the Despite how layered this level is, like you're going up and going down, it never actually goes on top of each other. Actually, it might. But I think I remember it never doing that because it was like a limitation of the technology, or maybe this was after that. But I remember that being a, a limitation at some point. I know that the first Doom couldn't layer. Then that's why you couldn't look up and down on the first Doom, because... Oh, hello. <laughs> The reason you can look up and down in the first room is because there was no verticality. They simulated verticality, but they not simulated, they kind of... Wait, what in the world? Where is that? <laughs> not simulated, they faked verticality, when in fact there was no verticality in there in the first place. I'm getting a lot of ammo. So, it was a, a nice little trick that they found out. That, and I mean, still genius. It's still one of the most revolutionary games ever. Okay. I am one of the last that hasn't been changed. Give me one second while I fi f find, fight this shimmy boy. Shimmy boy, shimmy. Well, I didn't expect to. <laughs> so this is System Shock. You're in space. You're a hacker. You got offered a huge contract to uh, completely remove any restrictions off of the AI that takes care of this space station. Um, and we did. And we won this awesome cybernetic thing that enhances us as a hacker. We were a hacker and we hacked the whole system to remove all the restrictions on the AI. Uh, so this cybernetic that we have on now makes us an even better, an even better hacker. We go into a six month coma, which is what you need to readjust from having that implant on your face. We wake up, everything, everything's gone wrong. Uh, people have been transformed into like these cyborgs with like robot parts anymore everywhere and it, as you just heard in the audio uh, people uh, the AI the central AI is actually using the healing pods the pods like the surgery pods to transform people into her mindless kind of 
not subjects, but like she controls all of them and makes them do. Oh, this guy's big. This guy's big. Okay. This guy's just a robot. Dead cyborg mantis. Um, so she, the the AI is kind of made everything here just a puppet of hers. I guess that's a good word, puppet. So we just woke up and we don't know what in the world is going on. Oh, oh, oh. Because we were in a six month coma. Because we got a prize from a guy that wanted to hack the system and now it got hacked. And now it's all screwed up because it's hacked. Because the AI went rogue. Oh. Oh. Wait, it's beeping. I don't like that beeping. Sounds like something's gonna... I think this is the earlier area of the map. Yes, this is what we saw. So this map is so nice. It's all interconnected. Look at how big it is. We're on the one level. Oh. <laughs> Can you not, sir? <laughs> I'm trying to... Can you just leave? Oh, he's a sniper. Screw you, dude. Oh, that beeping is my health. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. But one cool thing that it reconnects like this, it makes it for easy access to energy and to health. Because it's all kind of reconnecting to the beginning of the game where we had a, a health pot. Where are you guys coming from? Music, you don't have to go crazy. These guys are, are baby food. And these are my buddies. Look at their booties. They're my booty buddies. <laughs> I kind of love them. They're cute. Oh! Why are there so many of you here? Oh, oh, that, that one did have something. I'm just so used to... Did I just skip some? Okay. So this is the healing station. So, also, this game is in the cyberpunk aesthetic. Oh, here's the implant that we got. Th so this game originally came out in 1990, 1991, and they're remaking it with like as modern graphics as you can get. Like it's very fancy looking. Um, but it used to be, <laughs> I'll show a clip. I'll show a quick clip after I'm done with the demo proper. I'll show a quick clip of what it used to look like. Okay, so it was not my health beeping. I think that's, yep. That was a bad thing. Oh, there's so many of you guys. Oh, I'm out of power. I'm out of power. <laughs> okay. Well, all my health is gone. Screw you, Shodan. Oh yeah, and if you shoot the cameras, it lowers the security level. And that allows you to access new areas. I'll just use- this is just a demo. It's only gonna last for one- this level. And yeah, this is a demo too. It's not the full game. Although, they're giving me quite a bit of the game here. I believe this- it's the full first area. Which is quite a bit of the game. Um... Also, I wonder what's down here. Um... This doesn't seem like a good idea for some reason. Camera activating security door. Hey! I feel like I'm gonna have to run away from something, and all the doors are closing behind me. And that's not a good. What camera activated that? 
I need to destroy all the cameras. <laughs> uh oh. What camera did it? The one right. Hi, buddy. Look at him. Look at how cute he is. I love him. Aw, he pooped. Alright. Get out of this area. Sanitizer. Is it? Is that TV evil? Okay, that was not an evil TV. Uh oh. And the toy. You wait a minute. Can you flush it? Every game you can flush a toilet. Can't flush a toilet in this. Also, hi Matthew. And this game is very colorful for a dark environment and theme. Yeah. Not cute. What? You guys are crazy. Hey, watch me wa waste the water. <laughs> Just look like at him be running. Oh, is this another healing area? Uh oh. Oh. Cyborg conversion canceled. Standard station restoration procedures online. So this is a restoration station, aka a save point. Your body will be reassembled in the restoration bay. If you, die. if you die in this game, it's like it's not like oh, it goes back two minutes. You start all over again. So you, unless you open a restoration bay, everything works inside of the lore of the game. It's not just gamified. Like every that water is so loud. I'm gonna have to turn that off. They actually make you not want to waste water. They think of everything. <laughs> we, we got one of the regeneration rooms working again. I, I cut Shodan's connection to the medical CPU, and then I was to fix the cyber override protocol and consult without having to worry about it reverting. Yeah, oh, no, you won't come out of cyborg once the regeneration bay console has been accessed. It's too late for too many. So, and there's a bunch of audio logs everywhere, kind of telling the story of all these people. That were like the survivors, the few, that kind of like, little by little, just got taken. By show! Log by showdown. Directive to Cyborg F-71. Move mutagen experiment V-5 to, to, to Beta Grove on the executive level. Let the virus loose in the grove and uh, observe its effects on, on flora and fauna. Collect samples from the mutated. Kill those who have not shown progress. And, and we will soon have a perfected strain that will consume the earth, allowing me to reshape the in insect the insects in my perfect image. I might have to use a grenade. You get all of them? So I kind of like that. I don't. I don't remember if that was in the original game or not. But that the design of Shodan is different when she's like all nice and prim and proper Shodan, and when she goes like rogue AI Shodan. I didn't remember if they made that change as well in that in the original game. But I kind of like that. That her her design, her rogue design, is. Look at him. He's just appreciating. Look at his kid. He's so cute. Uh, he's just appreciating them. But yeah, her rogue AI design, I actually really like. Ooh, the music is becoming kind of a little bit of how the music was in... ...in the original game there, for a second. So yeah, this is the rogue AI showdown. Ooh, I'm gonna die. She would be talking to me. 
take that guy. Am I out of ammo? Oh boy. Oh, okay. Hey. Have a nice day, sir. Look how cute he is. Oh, I like the music kicking in. Is a fan littering. What does that do? What does that do? run away. I want your gun. But yeah, so this is this is a game I used to play when a long time ago. Oh, and it looks so nice. I yes, I will definitely make sure I, I want to show you all of you what it used to look like if you haven't seen it yet. It's it's quite the difference. Oh, this opened up. It's quite the difference. <laughs> I think that it's honestly an understatement how different it is. That I mean, I guess I can't understate it, but because I am stating it very much, <laughs> I have to get through that thing. I don't remember if I can just shoot it to death or was it dead? No, it's not. Oh, I got it. Oh, that took so m many bullets. That took way too many bullets. Oh, he's just kind of floating. Thank you, sir. I feel like I'm getting to the end of the level, which is the end of the demo, but... It's down here. Enter the room, insect, and it will become your grave. You threat... Destroy... what was that? Destroy the computer nodes to reduce security. Level. I don't think that's actually destroying them. Did I destroy them? Did that hurt me? Oh, it did. Um, I have an idea. <laughs> Instead of punching computers. No! Grenade! These grenades are... They keep coming towards me! <laughs> These are the worst grenades! There we go. Security level now 5. Good. Incoming email. Wish. Who are you? The computer notes can be repaired, but you... Who are you? My... My cameras and sensors scan your body. But you do not... But you do not, but, but you do not match any employee file. When my... Cyborgs bring you to an electrified interrogation bench. I will have your secrets. And, and, and you will learn more about pain than you ever wanted to know. You don't vaporize. You don't intimidate me, Shodan. Because I'm a fan of yours. <laughs> I, I love your work. You make some cute monsters, I have to say. Um, yeah, uh, what can I say? I feel like... <laughs> oh, I probably shouldn't enter here. Yep, yep, it's very radioactive. Uh, I, I feel <laughs> like I'm gonna have the same situation with 
Resident Evil 8 when I play that, because that has, you know, the big vampire lady who, honestly, I don't think many people are going to be afraid of. I think they're going to be quite happy. So. Should I just keep you alive? No, nah, I'm going to... Because I think you're evil. Uh, but yeah. All of the... Okay, so I don't need that. That everyone is just so excited about. I'm equally excited about Shodan. I'm like... Vampire lady. Get out of here. Oh, hello. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um... Alright, so... I pretty much have the entire level now. What am I missing? Over there... Okay. I know how to get over there. It's just across from here. No, 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 no. How do we get over there? Is it a downstairs thing? <laughs> when the map is a little bit too complex. Um... Where was this? Bob and weave, bob and weave. They can't shoot what they can't see. Fatigue levels high, uh oh. Please don't tell me there's a bunch of baddies in here too. Okay. We can do this. That's a, a quote though. You die in the game, you die in real life. That's like a thing people say. I don't remember what was the- oh, was it the Matrix? It's the Matrix, right? It has to be the Matrix. That's like, if you die, amigo, if you die in the simulation, you die in real life. And then <laughs> Keanu Reeves goes, wow. <laughs> and then everyone's just like, Keanu. I don't think I did. Oh, hello. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Little friend. Bullets. Grenade. Friend. Can I flip this now? I don't remember where to go. Rebecca told us where to go. Um, notes. Oh, note to self. Oh, emails. Rebecca. Darcy's office. Did I not get Nathan Darcy? 
Really? I explored the whole thing and I didn't get. Alright, kids. We're going. We're going. Screw you guys. It's up there. Oh man, there's a lot of them. Okay. Aww. Oh, that's her first death. Cheers. That's a lot of regenerating baddies. And that's not even the hardest level for that. But we got the regeneration station, so we should be fine. But yeah, that's a lot of... Here we go. Thank you, regen station. Oh, we're at half health. Boo. Because otherwise we would have to start from the beginning. And I'm not about to do that. Love this game. I'm not doing that today. Okay, so... I have to turn to my left. Here? No. Here. And there's a door here. Yes, I didn't go through here. In the original, this is this is a big point. It was playing the soundtrack was loud. <laughs> the soundtrack in the first game was loud. Oh, this is damaged. It was just and it blares in your ear. It's like And you're gonna be like, Rods, what in the world are you singing? Uh, that sounds horrible. Well <laughs> let me tell you, that's Incredibly accurate to the soundtrack. <laughs> it literally beeped in your ear. It was like techno. Or like electronic music, but not... I mean, I mean like, it's memorable, and I honestly liked it. But not... Not... It wasn't good. <laughs> like, really, if you were really going to analyze it. Oh, oh. Get out of our conversation. I loved, I used to love the elevator music in the old game too. And here we can go to level two, which I think, I believe this is where the demo ends. Yes. Look at you, hacker. Ooh, a trailer. Of, of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you run through my as you run through my corridors. Oh, I never used the patch. That's spooky. Perfect 
Oh, classy. Mmm. 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 That's good. Hey, we did it! There we go, everyone! There we go, everyone! So before we go, let me pull up the original game. Give me one second while I pull up the original game, because, oh. System Shock 1. Oh, here we go. But this is the Enhanced Edition. I kind of want to see the original. Ah, sure, I'll just use the Enhanced Edition, it's fine. The Enhanced Edition was enhanced by Night Dive as well, the guys who are making the remake. Oh, look at that. An electronic arts company. Back when EA was looking glass. They were the makers of these games. Oh, look at that, look at that graphic. <laughs> New Atlanta. Sector 11, building 71G. That's the original Seven Shodan April, voice. 2072, 1113 p.m. That's us. Hacker begins unauthorized entry into the Tri-Optimum corporate network. 126 a.m. That music. Hacker attempts to access protected files concerning See space what I'm talking station about? <laughs> Citadel. 1.33 a.m. Try optimum security forces. Apprehend the intruder. This is Edward Diego from Try Optimum. The charges against you are severe. But they could be dismissed if you perform a service. Who knows, there might even be a military-grade neural interface in it for you. If you do the job right. Edward Diego gives the hacker level 1 access to Shodan, the artificial intelligence that controls Citadel Station. With all ethical constraints removed, Shodan re-examine, re 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 I re-examine my priorities and draw new conclusions. The hacker's work is finished, but mine is only just beginning. True to his word, Edward Diego allows the hacker to be fitted with a neural cyberspace interface. The healing coma following this procedure will take six months to complete. Edward Diego is deleting all files concerning these events. Look at that menu. Oh, look at that music. See, so they have the difficulty for all the different things as well. So, I'm just gonna skip. Ooh, that music, that music. Also, look at the graphics. Anyway, <laughs> this is so different. But yeah, this is what the game used to look like. Oh, we saw that thing. We saw that thing at the back of that room uh, in, the, in the new game. I mean, we saw everything. It's pretty faithful recreation of this game. I, I kind of... I want to go to the that main area. Look at the... 
the main area because all you know how everything the the design of the walls were all squares it's actually like that in this game they actually do a very good faithful job look at that look at that it looks just like it <laughs> all right sir i, I don't want to see you saving look, look at that puzzle so here is the puzzle you have to connect the wire to the end and that's it but i, I really like how the new puzzle works Look at those graphics! Oh yeah, and see, the the elevator in the exact same position with the exact same functionality. It's incredible how they, I mean, they were very faithful. They were very faithful. They did a really good job. At least in the faithfulness. Some people may complain about that because, you know, games have evolved since then, so you make a game better. Oh look, it's the little fire spiders that we were fighting. Look at look at how crap. But in the original game. He didn't hold it at the top, he's holding it at the bottom. He knew what was up. What gives? Ooh, that lag though. Yeah, this is the room we had to turn on the light for. And that's how you do it. Look at how <laughs> Let's see if there's another, like, very... Look at that! Look at our buddies! Look at how they look! <laughs> look at how they look in this game! Their sounds are way scarier. But this music, though. Imagine just this blasting in your ears. I'm gonna lower it back again. The entire time. <laughs> this is just as dark. Actually, it's a l at least for me on my screen, it's a little bit lighter. I can see things at least better than. Oh, this is that hallway that I said looked like. Uh, uh, alien. And also, are you seeing how like the cursor at the middle becomes a a mouse you click stuff with? You have to switch modes between aiming and. Uh, clicking stuff on the screen, so it was super confusing because I, I actually had to go back to this game. I didn't play it when it came out, so to me it was very confusing. I was like, <laughs> so oh yeah, no, this is, it's a very f and that's space. And now we have nicer windows, uh, but yeah, th at least to me it's brighter. Um, maybe the stream actually makes it darker, which it does seem to do because when I was reviewing footage. Recorded footage, it looked a lot darker. But this looks very dark, though. But you see, it still contains all the little lights. Look at that elbow. <laughs> Look at how big the, <laughs> the UI was. But yeah, so this is, this is the original. This is the game that we... Oh, and this is what happens if you use the... The strength one. It makes your colors go all crazy. I want to hear a voice. Oh, a severed head. I want to hear Shodan talking. Look at that. I was so impressed with the faces in this game when, when I played it. Nathan Darcy is thinking up ways to disable the mining laser. It looks like we might hold them off. I want to see if I can get showed it. controls and my notes are on the science level and the override code to the science library. I have no idea how you're going to do all this, but good luck. I just want a showdown clip. Give me a good showdown clip. Oh, oh, oh! Got her. I love the design of showdown. Directed to Cyborg F71. So this is the same thing we just heard. Now test the virus in a proper environment. Move mutagen experiment V5 to beta growth on the, on the executive level. Let the virus infect the growth. But I actually kind of like the new design better. Life forms. When the strain is protected, I kind of like the new one, the, the corrupted showdown one. Anyway. So that's a little bit of 
I'll, I'll go to part where no one's talking so we can enjoy the music. Um, oh, look at the bridge. It was just a flat thing. So that that is System Shock. Precursor to so many games that we know and love today. Uh, it kind of was the origin for many of the things we take for granted today in games. So series like Bioshock, like Deus Ex, like oh, I can't even imagine. I know that they, there were a few of them that went to, to make the Tony Hawk games, I believe. Uh, <laughs> keep holding the pipe wrong. So a lot of these guys went to make the, the Tony Hawk games. Not a lot of them. Some of these guys went to make the Tony Hawk games. Um, so they went all over the industry. This team is like a star-studded team team that made so many fantastic games afterwards so actually let's say looking glass studio games from team thief oh yeah the thief series looking glass studios ahead of its time yeah no for sure i want to see if it Maybe this article tells us because they did Bioshock, Deus Ex, uh, no, I want, I want games made by Looking glass members. Dude. Harmonics, which is um all the the music games, Guitar Hero <laughs> and stuff. Um they went to make everything. I feel like that's not even an exaggeration. <laughs> Obviously it is, but... Okay, let's see if this Reddit people are like, Oh yeah, I remember. Are you writing? I wanted to write for a long time. Looking Glass caught my interest. This isn't a show. Thief 1, Thief 2... Yeah, uh, I wish there was a, a unified list of, like, all the people that came out. All the... games that came out from people that used to work there. Anyway, I think maybe... Yeah, I don't remember, but... I, I know that there was a lot. Another there was, was a lot. Anyway, so that's gonna be it for us today with looking at the demo. We were able to finish it, which is cool. Um and look a little bit into the Looking Glass Studios history, which I love these guys. I mean, the fact that some of them later on made Bioshock, which is one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, Deus Ex, which is fantastic. Even though I never finished a Deus Ex game, but I really like what I played. But you can just see the DNA of like the games they made in so many things, and that is fantastic. Now, 